Using this shampoo box, I'm gonna make the base for the baby doll car seat. I will mark the shape of the desired uh, car seat with a stuck tape. So first, I go around the bottle. See, this is where I start cutting. In addition, I will cut a thin stripe to use it for the handle. I take off the tape and nail file it a bit. I take a sock. I cut it approximately here. I insert my seat into the sock. And using a hot glue gun, I start securing the sock around the car seat. As a next step, I cut off this flexible side and I cut around gently I cut it in half I see it at the edge at the edge Using a sharp thin object such as a brush I turn it up outside and use it for my handle I secure it at the end and sew I have the base for the seat I have a few pieces of um, fabric so I put them inside and now I have to make the matters I took the sock I cut off the, the top part and I made a few stitches these are the three pieces of uh, foam paper that I just put them together and this is how my mattress is going to look like. I have the top part, uh, two parts at the, the side, again three pieces of foam here and here, one more part, one more square for the seat, two more parts for the sides, and one part for the front. So they're like seven parts. Here are the stitches that I made. Here a stitch, the top, and here. Here I made a few a cut and a, a stitch here and a stitch here because I don't. This is where the sock is gonna bend, and uh, this is inside out, and the. At the bottom, I also made a few stitches here. So, here, here we go. Now I cut it somewhere here. This part. But I do leave a bit of uh, fabric here. I just cut it. So now we turn it again inside out and we will need more stitches. So what I will do now, I will put a, my foam paper inside and do more stitches here, here, here's number three four, five 
Here I finished one stitch. Now I take the second part, put it in, and make the second stitch. So here I finished the second stitch. Now these three pieces go inside, and then I make a horizontal stitch. So I finished the horizontal stitch here. I have to repeat it again here, here, and here. One, two, and three. Okay, I finished with my stitches. Now I have the last final pillow to make. I have I take this part, it's the last part, put it inside, and then I'm gonna bend it over and stitch on the other side. And naturally all that I have to cut. I don't need it. I made simple stitches here, like backward, uh, like one way and backwards. Okay, here we go. And start stitching. That way, it will give you, give the mattress a very clean look. Okay, the mattress is ready. This is how I stitched. The mattress will be glued to the chair with the hot glue gun. The handle is ready. These are the thumbtacks that I used. I will insert him the handle into the plastic and then I'll use hot glue gun. So we have now to make the seat belt. I already made it. I'll show you how. The seat belt is cut entirely of foam paper. If this is your doll, you have to sit to make her seat and measure her height. This is the area for the head. I make two cuts here. This is the belt. The belt goes around the shoulders. So naturally, this part, the belt, goes around this mini seat. Now, the second part of the seat has a little hole in it. This part comes between the dog's uh, no, I'm sorry, between the doll's legs. I made two cuts on each side, two cuts which are supposed to hold the belt like that. I'll show you. And then made the cut is he uh, here. So the, the this is the lock. So the lock goes inside. And now using a hot glue gun, I will glue it all together. First, I glue the belt. Then, I need to glue the lock. But I need to know uh, how high the door is. So if that's a height, so yeah, that's more or less. Okay, the seat belt is ready. Now I want the handle inside. Using the hot glue gun, I am gluing the mattress to the seat. I glue the belt of the seat as well.
and you are done.